Hi guys, um, welcome back to another Team Biscuits. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom light box for um, illustration, uh, animation, storyboarding and everything. I'm going to make a custom one out of actually the current desk that I'm using. Okay, so the desk that I'm using is a very simple, it came from Officeworks. You can get a very similar one from Ikea. All it is is uh, a glass glass panels done with just a metal framing. But the good thing about it, this is it with the without the glass on it, it just sticks in with these suckies. Um, and then you've actually got this big open open space. So what I'm going to show you how is to make a custom light box out of one of the panels. So it's got three. I'm going to do it with just a single panel. All you're going to need is the desk. I think it retails for about $150. I'm sure there are cheaper ways to make one, but this is how I'm going to do my custom one. So it's about $150 for the desk. And then a cheap old light like this from Ikea for about $10. Now, I, I've only tested a small area but uh, the likelihood is I may need to get a slightly better light. Um, but $10, good for a test. Okay, so here is the glass panel taken out of the desk. Sorry about the lighting, it's, um, it's making the video very grainy. So it's just a thin sheet of glass. But luckily, what I figured out is on the base, you can see how it's quite dark. It's like a bluey dark tinge. But on the base, it's actually got a, uh, like a coating. So I'm actually going to strip out the coating in a, in a just a square in the center. So I'm going to strip away that coating and the light will be able to shine through um, I have already done a small section, if I can get it in the light. See that small section where it's going in and out of colour? That's the section where I've stripped away some. And I'll get back to you when I've measured it all up. Okay, so here we have a progress shot. As you can see, I've gone... Sorry about the light. I've actually left a... Nice big solid strip on this side, a little bit thinner strip on that side, also a little bit thinner strip on that side. And progress is going good. So you can see that's underneath, light shines up through. Uh, all I'm actually using is an X-Acto knife, a little, I tried the um, paint stripper, but I've got a very blunt one so that didn't work but using the exacto knife, it's going nice and slow. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say too nice, but as you can see, that's the line there that I'm trying to get to. So I'm about almost halfway with that strip there. Um, it's definitely going to be a long process. Guys, we're back. And for now, it's complete. So I'll show you what we've got. So here we have the improved desk. So the normal desk, just a curve, as I said, from Officeworks for $150 roughly. And this is what we're left with. So roughly that's the space, probably about two laptops width. But what we've got now, after all of that scraping, is an improved light box. So as you can see, size is roughly, I'll demonstrate with just a piece of A4 paper. As you can see, it's just bigger than an A4 sheet of paper. Now, ideally, I was going to make it double the width, so we'd be working on an A3 size paper, but I decided it was a lot of work just to get it to that point, and I'm going to test drive this. 
but now we'll get we'll show you how it really looks so as you can see it's just glass with the with the edges sticking out but underneath we just have this cheap little IKEA light and I've actually just shortened this so it can fit on top of the printer gets it closer to the table but now for the true magic flick that light off just bear with the dark bear with the dark and here we go look at that beautiful perfect just a nice a4 size here we go unfortunately it's a it's coming through like that light is um coming through very harsh on the paper but it's actually it's a much warmer light um, but as you can see that that now comes through just perfect. And it actually comes through a heck of a lot of paper. I I actually had this this whole stack on it. Maybe I can show you now. Not very clear on the picture but you can actually still see it and that's going through almost a hundred sheets of paper so realistically I could not be more happy with how this turned out it's it's just magic so as I said you can pick up the transparent paper for $15 for a massive roll I think it's about a Hundred meter roll, and you can pick up the light from IKEA. This light here from IKEA for about ten dollars. The bulb comes with it, and then the desk for about one hundred and fifty. You actually might be able to find it a little bit cheaper, but I got mine for about one hundred and fifty from Office Works. You can buy very similar ones from IKEA. Just make sure it has um, the. It's got a, I don't know, a painted surface on it, which you can scrape away with an exacto blade. But there we have it, guys. The, that's my custom built light desk, and just in reference of time, it probably took me uh, two hours to scrape away a that. Uh, that A4 size. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Uh, I can point you in the right direction. I can even um, give you pointers on how to scrape away the paint. Um, but this is a much cheaper option than any $300 to $500 for any light box that you can buy online. It even can go more expensive than that. So this was just my fix of how to make it much cheaper. Thanks for watching guys.